Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandran in front of you with another interesting topic which is feed. Feed is one of the most important design stage in any project irrespective of the industry you are working. Whether it could be oil and gas, automobile or infrastructure, but feed is an inevitable design stage. So that's why it's important to understand the concept of feed very importantly. So without wasting your time, let's begin. In order to explain what is feed, I want to tell you the step before the feed and also the step after the feed. So what are the steps before the feed? One of the very important stage before the feed is your concepts. And what is the stage after the feed, which is the detail engineering. So all the projects starts with the concept, then it will go for the feed and then it will go for the detail engineering. Let me tell you one by one very clearly. But please note this video is predominantly for the feed. Only then I'll be able to communicate all the information which is required for the feed. If I have to explain for other conceptual and uh, detail engineering as well, the video will be a little bit broader. But however, I will cover this in the near future. So please note this video is exclusively for the feed. In order to explain what is feed, I wanted to tell you some realistic example. If I keep on saying a theoretical explanation, you may not be able to uh, like it or you may not be able to understand it much well. So I wanted to give you a very simple example so that you can connect with your life very easily. So for the sake of example, in today's video, what we are going to take is, let's take building your home. This is an idea. So how we are going to do a feed for building your own home. Let's imagine that at one, one day, one particular day, you got an idea that you wanted to build your own home. So at that point of time, will you directly go to the contractor and give him a money saying that this is my idea, I want a home. It will not work in that way, right? In order to buy or in order to build your dream home, you will have to do certain things. That is the process. Only if you do that process, you will be able to achieve your dream home or build your dream home or buy a home, correct? So it starts from the idea and then slowly you will develop and finally you will make it. So that's the process. Why is it required? It is required because the cost, cost is one of the primary factor that decides your decision can be implemented or not. So let's understand the conceptual part of it. Okay, because later I wanted to relate this concept to the actual oil and gas projects. So the conceptually you have an idea, then you will go to the contractor. The contractor will try to put your ideas into the paper. For example, how many BHKs, how big the hall is, how many balconies you want. So all these details will be put in so that your ideas are now on the paper. At least you know that this is your expectation. So based on that expe expectation, he will give you a preliminary cost. What is the message of this cost? This cost will tell you at least in order to execute your idea, you need to have a minimum amount of this much so that you can execute it, correct? But this doesn't include any luxury expectations. Later on, when you develop your own home, you may have to uh, come up with, you will come up with a lot of other requirements like you want a bigger parking area, you want instead of two balconies, three balconies, you want a wardrobe, so so and so multiple requirements will keep on adding that will actually increase the cost. What if from the idea, you directly inform the contractor, like you start building your home. I mean, you start building the home and I will keep on paying you. And you had already paid some initial preliminary amount what has been estimated based on the idea. Fine. Very clear. So now you paid based on your initial idea. And during the construction, you are keep on visiting the home, fine. And you are keep on telling him some additional requirements. I want this, I want that, I want this. So it keeps on adding actually. And one day the contractor has finished his work and he called you to tell you that the house is completed and you have to pay this much, which is actually double the cost of initial estimation. So how this is escalated? That is escalated because of various additional requirements for which you have not estimated. You have not really gone to understand the cost impact of it. That's why now you have to pay double the cost of what has been exactly planned. But in actual industries, this cost will be much more higher. It won't be in lakhs, it, it will be in crores. 
If you are a candidate looking for a piping design course to improve your design skills, you can refer my website pemidacon.com. I will give the link in the description of this video where I have listed three primary courses. These three main courses are intent to develop the primary piping design skill, one for PNID and one for pipe routing and the third for pipe supports. Three courses are individually different courses are intent to develop a specific piping design skills. The skills that these courses are going to give you are the primary design skills that every piping design engineer should possess. By taking this course, you will be able to perform better in the interview. You will have more clarity about the knowledge. You will have a better vision in your day to day activity so that you will be able to perform better in your current working job. So what if you had done the feed properly? So instead of directly going to the construction, if you had developed your idea and matured your idea a little bit by doing a 3D modeling, by focusing on micro level details of your hall or bedroom or kitchen or whatever be it, you would have listed the exact requirements which is actually going to be implemented and based on which the cost should have been arrived. So that cost would have given you at least you want this much of amount in order to do the construction and complete it. Maybe during the construction your cost may escalate little bit of 5 to 10 percentage but not to an extent of 100 or 200 percentage. Correct. So the field will actually tell you uh, the actual list of activities by which you can measure the cost. That's the intent of it. Let me tell you the same thing in oil and gas and petrochemical projects. How this works. Before the feed, generally the ideas are developed, which is known as the concept, I mean conceptual uh, stage. Okay, so here in this video, we are not going to detail more of conceptual um, uh, subjects. We will focus on the feed. Fine. So conceptual stage is basically an idea. So from there, you will have to develop the feed. Fine. So what is feed? Feed is known as the full form of the feed is front end engineering design. What is it all about? It is about developing and maturing the conceptual design by working out each and every small small informations that is that has an influence of cost so that the cost estimation can be done in order to understand what is the actual cost which could be somewhere around plus or minus 25 percentage of the actual cost. So during the design the expectation is that the rest of the 20 percentage will be escalated. So at least you will be able to list out the respective activities and the materials so that the cost can be derived. That is the primary intent of the feed. It is done by all disciplines. Every discipline has to do their own work. Right from process, they will develop the PFD and preliminary uh, PNIDs and process data sheets and everything and mechanical, piping, electrical, instrumentations and civil. Every discipline has to work on each and every details. So for the sake of this video, let me tell you what you guys have to do for piping design. Because since we are working in piping design, it's important to understand what you guys have to do for a piping design side in feed. Especially in feed, since it's a cost driven factor, everything that is going to influence the cost has to be put in, has to be put in packages so that the cost estimation can be done. So what are the things that is actually going to influence the cost? The first and foremost thing is the plot size. You will have to finalize the plot plan, which is I could see, uh, I could say 90 percentage of the plot plan needs to be finalized at the feed stage and layout planning needs to be done individual plot plan of the unit wise has to be done you will have to do the preliminary line routing and you will have to do the stress analysis for the critical lines in order to observe the uh, thermodynamic uh, the thermal expansion impact in your layout and you will have to finalize the uh, moc and piping class has to be prepared pipe spec has to be prepared support specification needs to be prepared and mto needs to be prepared so in all these things you will have to do right from the procurement specifications and mechanical data sheets for long lead items, list of long lead items, only then you will be able to drive the cost. Insulation included, scaffolding is required, hydro testing requirements, painting requirements, everything has to be put in. In feed, you will have to take a lot of assumptions. For examples, you will have to assume the vendor information because during the feed, the PO may not be placed to the vendor. The vendor 
final drawings uh, might not have been received but for the critical equipments yes it is definitely possible if the uh, client wants to uh, go for a PO, you will receive the final vendor drawings at the feed stage itself however predominantly 90 percentage of the vendor informations were not available during the feed stage for that you will have to take a reference of your previous projects or whatever re minimum reference that you receive from the vendor based on which you will have to assume and go further so that is the feed stage so in feed stage vendor uh, informations will be kept on hold however assumptions in order to materials in order for the layout planning everything will be done accordingly based on some prior experiences or any uh, reference documents available but other than that even right from the routing the lines needs to be finalized about three inch size there are some cases where the feeds are done up to two inch sizes but there are most of the cases for the bigger projects i would say that for the sizes three inch and above are considered generally the sizes three inch and lessers were not considered for the bigger feed project for the smaller feed projects even two inches two inch lines were considered so you will have to develop the mto for that actually once you put all this materials and the supporting documents for the feed actually cost estimations will be done on this basis and the cost estimations will uh, be given to the client then the client will look at it whether this cost is bearable for them whether this cost is within their budget or not if the cost is not within their budget what the second thing they will do they will go back to the process they will go back to the mechanical how much can be reduced if part of the activities can be considered as a future expansion then the process will start working out instead of uh, 10 vessels they'll go for six vessels at the initial stage and instead of five pumps they will go for three pumps instead of 10 tanks they'll go for five tanks so likewise you will reduce the overall process requirements once you reduce the process requirements eventually your mechanical your plot size your civil requirements everything will be reduced so the second revised cost will be prepared. This is the functionality and the importance of the feed. A feed will give you a room in order to understand what is actually going to be implemented. So based on which you will be able to derive the cost and that cost will help them to decide whether to go further with this decision or not. If the cost is more, little bit of reductions of the overall scope will be done and accordingly the project will be executed. So this is the intent of the feed. So once the feed is done, so it will give you a full confidence for a client whether to proceed or not. Hope this video is useful to understand what a feed is all about. I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.